Black holes are some of the strangest and most fascinating objects in space. They are extremely dense, with such strong gravitational attraction that not even light can escape their grasp. Scientists and researchers have been studying black holes for decades, and they have made some amazing discoveries about them too. But one recent discovery is above everything else. It's the newly found black holes that's eating up everything in its way. So let's talk about it. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about a fastest growing black hole found by scientists. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Black holes are points in space that are so dense, they create deep gravity sinks. Beyond a certain region, not even light can escape the powerful tug of a black hole's gravity. And anything that ventures too close, be it star, planet, or spacecraft, will be stretched and compressed like putty in a theoretical process aptly known as spaghettification. There are four types of black holes, stellar, intermediate, supermassive, and miniature. The most commonly known way a black hole forms is by stellar death. As stars reach the end of their lives, most will inflate, lose mass, and then cool to form white dwarfs. But the largest of these fiery bodies, those at least 10 to 20 times as massive as our own sun, are destined to become either super-dense neutron stars or so-called stellar-mass black holes. The Milky Way could contain over 100 million black holes, though detecting these gluttonous beasts is very difficult. At the heart of the Milky Way lies a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A. The colossal structure is about 4 million times the mass of the Sun and lies approximately 26,000 light years away from Earth, according to a statement from NASA. The first image of a black hole was captured in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope EHT collaboration. The striking photo of the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy, 55 million light years from Earth, thrilled scientists around the world. The EHT's image of a black hole in M87 was an extraordinary effort, requiring two years of research, even after the images were taken. That's because the collaboration of telescopes, which stretches across many observatories worldwide, produces an astounding amount of data that is too large to transfer via the Internet. According to the Space Telescope Science Institute STSCI, approximately one out of every thousand stars is massive enough to become a black hole. Since the Milky Way contains over 100 billion stars, our home galaxy must harbor some 100 million black holes. Though detecting black holes is a difficult task, and estimates from NASA suggest there could be as many as 10 million to a billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way. The closest black hole to Earth is dubbed the Unicorn and is situated approximately 1,500 light years away. The nickname has a double meaning. Not only does the black hole candidate reside in the constellation Monoceros, the unicorn, but its incredibly low mass also, about three times that of the sun, makes it nearly one of a kind. So, what do black holes look like? Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon, and the singularity. The event horizon of a black hole is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole, past which light cannot escape. Once a particle crosses the event horizon, it cannot leave. Gravity is constant across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole, where the object's mass lies, is known as its singularity, the single point in space-time where the mass of the black hole is concentrated. Scientists can't see black holes the way they can see stars and other objects in space. Instead, astronomers must rely on detecting the radiation black holes emit as dust and gas are drawn into the dense creatures. But supermassive black holes lying in the center of a galaxy may become shrouded by thick dust and gas around them, which can block the telltale emissions. Sometimes, as matter is drawn toward a black hole, it ricochets off the event horizon and is hurled outward rather than being tugged into the maw. Bright jets of material traveling at near relativistic speeds are created. Although the black hole remains unseen, these powerful jets can be viewed from great distances. 
With time, researchers expect to image other black holes and build up a repository of what the objects look like. The next target is likely Sagittarius A, which is the black hole in the center of our own Milky Way galaxy. Sagittarius A is intriguing because it is quieter than expected which may be due to magnetic fields smothering its activity, a 2019 study reported. Another study that year showed that a cool gas halo surrounds Sagittarius A, which gives unprecedented insight into what the environment around a black hole looks like. Now that we know about black holes and where do they come from, let's talk about a recent massive black hole discovered by scientists and why it is so different from the rest. According to sources, the fastest growing black hole ever seen is swallowing the mass equivalent of an entire Earth every second. This gargantuan black hole has a mass 3 billion times that of the Sun, and its rapid consumption is causing the behemoth to grow rapidly, an international research team found. The black hole gorges via a process called accretion, in which it siphons matter from a thin disk of gas and dust rotating around the massive object. Other black holes of a similar size stopped growing billions of years ago, but this newly discovered black hole is still getting larger. It's now 500 times bigger than Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the heart of the Milky Way, and would fit the whole solar system behind its event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape. Based on this information, the researchers determined that the newfound black hole is the most rapidly growing black hole found to exist in the past 9 billion years. Now we want to know why this one is different. Did something catastrophic happen? Lead researcher Christopher Onken, a researcher at the Research School of Astronomy and Astrophysics at the Australian National University ANU, said in a statement. Perhaps two big galaxies crashed into each other, funneling a whole lot of material onto the black hole to feed it. This rapid accretion of matter to the surface of the black hole has also resulted in a quasar blasting out enough energy to make it 7,000 times brighter than the light from every star in the Milky Way. In fact, this quasar is also the most luminous of these events for around the past two-thirds of the universe's 13.8 billion year existence. The quasar has a brightness of magnitude 14.5 when viewed from Earth meaning it is only slightly dimmer than Pluto and bright enough to potentially be spotted by sky watchers with good telescopes in a very dark area. So the discovery of the feeding black hole was made as part of the SkyMapper Southern Sky Survey conducted by the 1.3 meter telescope at Siding Spring Observatory in Australia. Despite the quasar's incredible brightness, Anken and his team still described the finding as a very large, unexpected needle in the haystack. Astronomers have been hunting for objects like this for more than 50 years, Anken said. They have found thousands of fainter ones, but this astonishingly bright one had slipped through unnoticed. Christian Wolf, an associate professor at ANU and a member of the research team, said that he thinks astronomers are unlikely to find another black hole growing at this rate or powering a quasar of this magnitude or greater. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.